Hey there, my friends, what is going on, everybody? Vitaly Dubin is here, founder of Bitcoin's Paul Stop, and welcome to another episode of Today in Crypto Show, where I'm discussing what the heck is going on in the crazy, crazy crypto markets. And today, all of the attention and spotlight is on Ethereum as it is about to break its all time high established on January the 13th, 2018, over three years ago as we speak right now and uh, you know we're so so close to breaking it and it's been so obvious i've been telling you guys for weeks and weeks ethereum is undervalued and yesterday i told you that we closed the week for ethereum on a very very bullish note as you can see right here uh if you turn into the weekly chart right here you can see this massive uh week that you can see on the weekly and and this represents a tremendous buying pressure and just like we saw on bitcoin this exact same scenario is playing out on bitcoin you saw this massive week uh, on the weekly time frame just as we were about to break its all-time high of twenty thousand dollars what happened next for bitcoin we saw this massive week next week and the next week and the next week and the next week bitcoin essentially double in the next four weeks so uh ethereum is right now repeating what the bitcoin has been doing already in december which is very very exciting right now ethereum is leading the way and ethereum is breaking out on this ethereum bitcoin chart out of this declining momentum that we had all the way since january 2018 and i told you guys right here at this point at this point right here uh if we scroll back a little bit on uh, on this point if you've been following uh, my channel uh, right here you can see guys that uh, on this area this is what i told you guys um i sold my bitcoin for ethereum th th this is a place right here to uh buy ethereum because <coughs> we reached a point of the lowest point right here and since then we skyrocketed you can see in terms of percentages it is about 58 uh, percent to the upside in terms of how much one ethereum is valued in terms of bitcoin ethereum is outperforming bitcoin it's very very exciting the fundamentals are very strong for ethereum we have the most active addresses we have the most uh, non-zero addresses with more ethereum more daily transactions on the ethereum you know more transaction volume is being on ethereum the fundamentals are so so strong if you look at the at the weekly right here uh we are completing this this cup um this cup right here over the last three years we were going down we created this like huge w as you can see right here this is one two three boom we completed this w and now we're about to break to the upside this is very very exciting we're waiting for this moment for so long and this is where you need to really understand guys that when we reach the all-time high uh, of about 1440 dollars it's not like the end potential for ethereum this is just the beginning because every time that we shot above the all-time high you know we didn't stop there you know we're at least going to double in the in the next couple of weeks you know the same thing with bitcoin remember bitcoin one one time uh, a couple of years ago it was trading at uh, about eleven hundred dollars so eleven hundred dollars that was the highest point for bitcoin back in november 2013 and then a couple of years later when in the uh, February 2017 we finally broke uh, this previous all-time high you can see right here we, we didn't stop there yes we went to 1400 we dropped to 900 and then we continued from there to reach uh, three thousand dollars over the next uh, one two three four five six seven eight weeks of green weeks in a row okay so this is something that 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 I see uh, ethereum is repeating bitcoin we're going to break the previous all-time high and then continue rise week after week until we reach you know 
$2,000, perhaps even $2,800 in the coming weeks. And I've been telling you guys about this uh, Ether futures that are coming on February the 8th, 2021. We're just a couple of weeks away and this allows the institutions to get involved in buying the futures contract, which is like $100,000 contracts for Ethereum. So um, the last time that uh, the CME announced the uh, Bitcoin futures back in December, we were pumping several weeks before that. So I see just for that reason alone, uh, I see Ethereum is pumping a lot towards this date of February the 8th, 2021. And after that, we can expect a correction downward. So right now we see, uh, zooming on the daily, uh, we are breaking out. Uh, we, we are breaking out if we're, if we're going to of this uh, uh, ascending triangle. And uh, on a four hourly, you can see that we have completed this, this W effect that we saw many times in Bitcoin. This W and then it propels us further uh, to the upside. Uh, so if you zoom out, Ethereum has been consolidated for 1300 plus days and now it's close to breaking out. We will see five to 7,000 this year. I think that it's going to happen much, much and a bigger. We're going to see over $10,000 this year and uh, five to $7,000 towards the, the, mid, the middle of this year. We're seeing the uh, Ethereum proposal EIP 1559 that is important to understand that is going to be implemented in this new uh, Ethereum 2.0. This is a big change to the Ethereum's fee structures. And one of the key things uh, in, like is going to be the predictability of transaction fees, lowering transaction fees, quicker transactions due to faster processing, and a portion of Ether is burned every transaction. So this is key point and has far reaching implication for the economic model of Ethereum. With this, Ether becomes a deflationary asset. From an investment point of view, this is an essential change. It will create a positive feedback loop on the price of Ether. Now the popularity among developers and users will be reflected in the price. With an average of 1 million transactions per day and showing steady growth since its inception in 2015, this might just be the single biggest change in the history of Ethereum. So there you go, EIP 1559 Ethereum Improvement Protocol proposal. Um, yeah, this is this is absolutely awesome. And while we are seeing Bitcoin kind of taking a breather and kind of consolidate uh, between 30 and 40k and not doing too much right here, we might see the Ethereum and altcoins wholly go ballistic and, uh, and outperform Bitcoin <laughs> in the in the immediate short term. So that's how that's how the cycles are are happening over here. Ethereum price inches closer to new all time high. Um, we're seeing Ethereum also looks to show continuous strong price momentum driven by Ethereum 2.0 launch when we are moving to the proof of stake and I'm coming to see a future launch on February the 8th. Uh, it's also expected to provide a boost to the DeFi economy in general as the ecosystem as a whole will benefit from a decrease in transaction fees and less congestion. And uh, we've been talking about this uh, DeFi space right now. It's $25 billion lock um, in, the, in value overall on the DeFi space. And it's all sitting on the Ethereum, all the lending, all the decentralized exchanges, derivatives, you know derivatives is a huge market it's a 550 trillion dollar market so um, you can see definitely that uh, ethereum has a bright bright future and when it's going to break any any moment now the previous all-time high we are so so close to it right now uh that any moment right now we're going to break the 1450 dollar level and ethereum is going to balloon <laughs> in my opinion um, so we, we see also um, potentially uh, Joe Biden is going to choose Gary Gensler, a professor who previously taught a blockchain cryptocurrency course at MIT as chairman of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. So 
So that is very good news for the, for the crypto market, for sure, for sure. Um, so three reasons why Ethereum has been rising faster than Bitcoin in 2021. Right, you see Ethereum today 12.6%, Bitcoin only 2.4%. Ethereum is, is definitely performing really well. Uh, we see also today Ample Force 24%, Engine Coin 20%, UMA 90%. So why Ethereum is rising more? Um, the price of Ether um, it has been soaring since the beginning of the year. What's more, it has outperformed Bitcoin since January the 1st, gaining roughly 81% compared to Bitcoin's 26%. And you see it clearly right here on the chart. Ever since I pointed out this right here, this is the time to pay attention and to buy more Ethereum because Ethereum is going to outperform Bitcoin. And over the longer picture, you can see that we have a lot of room to grow from where we are right here to much higher levels for Ethereum Bitcoin chart. Um, so you can see right here, <coughs> first is the DeFi space. The DeFi space that right now reached $25 billion, it signals a massive, massive uh, demand, right? And people are willing to pay the fees. Even though we, we saw the, the fees on Ethereum rising, people are willing to pay the higher gas fees. So that really shows a genuine demand that is for Ethereum. We see the Ethereum daily transaction chart is exploding to all time high, right? Um, so it is just, it's just amazing. Other layer one blockchain protocols are growing with significant anticipation to compete against Ethereum, Polkadot, pay attention to Polkadot and, and Cosmos, you know, but Ethereum is leading the way. It is definitely leading the way. We see Bitcoin is consolidating right now uh, with lower volatility, and usually it, it is good for uh, for Bitcoin, obviously. Um, yeah. So, so this is the most important thing that uh, I, I want you guys to pay attention to Ethereum. Ethereum one five five nine that is going to be implemented uh, with Ethereum two point and the staking system, the staking system, we are going to turn off the machine uh, for the Ethereum mining much, much sooner than we all anticipated. Like I said yesterday, guys, in the coming weeks, in the coming two weeks, they're going to put a test net and eventually this year, not next year, this year, they're going to shut off the machines and they're going to move completely to the proof of stake system, which is a more fair system. If you stake 32 Ethereum, for example, and uh, you cheat the system, you're going to lose your stake. So it, it, it's not, uh, you know, you don't want to cheat the system. <laughs> Nobody wants to cheat the system and lose their Ethereum. So um, when, when you stake Ethereum, you cannot sell it on the exchange. So the selling pressure is going to go down. The buying pressure is going to go up. Uh, Ethereum becomes more of a deflationary asset with uh, less and less Ethereum, uh, you know, essentially. The, the rate of uh, production of new Ethereum is going to go down because of the burning fee. Um, we're going to burn a lot of Ethereum. That will help zero to negative issuance with security. We won't have to rely on to me to do that. Uh, so that's good. That's good for Ethereum. And uh, Ethereum is going to skyrocket to uh, much, much bigger levels. Now, here's an example, guys, how you can turn $35,000 into $1 million in a month with spot positions only without any leverage, without any leverage. And this, of course, not easy to do. So here's an example. If you buy DOT, the Polka DOT, $5 on 25th of December and sell for $10 on 3rd of January, then on 3rd of January, you buy Stellar Lumen for 13 cents and sell for uh, 0 0.375 dollars on the 7th of January. On 7th of January, you buy Avax for 4.3 dollars and sell it for 12 and a half dollars. And then you buy GRT on 16th of January and sell for 56 cents now. Uh, that essentially will turn 35,000 into 70,000, into 202,000, into 587,000, and into 1 million. Turning 35,000 dollars into 1 million dollar. Now, of course, this is in hindsight, and uh, uh, it's much 
harder to do in practice and uh, easier to see in hindsight. But it just shows you an example, guys, that even without leverage, the, cr the crypto markets are so crazy. You can turn $35,000 into $1 million in just one month, in just one month. So <laughs> that's, that's crazy. <coughs> now, um, another thing about link. So link, uh, link is right here in, um, in this chain link is number nine right now with a market cap of $9 billion. And uh, right now, Link is controlled by 125 wallets, more than 80% of the Link. So this is very, very extremely centralized, extremely centralized on Link. So that's not a good thing that you have the majority of Link uh, tokens, are, of the Link coins are, uh, are sitting on very, very few uh, wallets, very, very few wallets. Um, only 12 and a half thousand of these addresses are in active positions. A nearly 83% of link supply resides in 0.8% of active wallets. So if you're in link, uh, consider not having such a huge amount exposed into link because if the whales control so much of link, they can also dump uh, very fast the, the value of link. We see the first hyperledger best cryptocurrency that is uh, based on a different type of blockchain is being listed on Bittrex and skyrocketing 486% overnight with just 24 hours. It's been absolutely crazy, quadrupling, more than quadrupling in value. And this is the Metacoin. Metacoin, the first cryptocurrency of hyperledgers to achieve maintenance status. Um, Beatrix announcing for trade with a starting price of $0.026 on Sunday night and uh, it, it increased more than fivefold, climbing to a brief peak of uh, 15 cents. So the crazy, crazy markets of crypto. <laughs> and um, of course, uh, we're going to really see, uh, I want to emphasize about the, the Tether coin, which is the number three cryptocurrency uh, the most value, most used coin after Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tech one to one to one to dollar. It right now market cap twenty four point two billion dollars, and uh, right now, the like if you see the the total supply, I go to max. Um, the total supply of uh, of Tether has increased dramatically uh, over the last um, year right the market cap went from 5 billion to 24 billion dollars now right now there is an investigation happening between the, uh, the New York general attorney and, and Tether right? and uh, I want to um, really talk about it uh, because the implication if they're going to find that uh, Tether is doing some shady business because the, the CEOs of uh, Tether and Bitfinex are found the same uh, people behind this. And uh, essentially, they couldn't provide a clear audience of how much real US dollars that are back in Tether are, are in the bank account. Okay, and finally, like they admitted, it was like a year ago that their lawyer admitted after the investigation started on them back in 2018 that they hold 74% of dollars in the bank but right now a lot of time has passed and we printed from 5 billion to 24 billion dollars on tether if they're going to find tether guilty in the worst case scenario what we can expect what are the implications on the price well of course we're going to see the cryptocurrency market take a hit we're going to see a dump in the in, in every single asset bitcoin ethereum etc but Tether is not the only stable coin. We have other alternatives and we cannot attribute the entire rise in Bitcoin and Ethereum just to the printing of uh, Tether, okay? There is a genuine demand um, for, for crypto. For example, Gemini Exchange uh, accepts a lot of fiat into it. The institutions, the whales, like MicroStrategy, the publicly traded companies, they're all buying crypto with fiat. Uh, not with USDT, not with the Tether. And even on exchanges, you can buy Tether uh, with your fiat currency. So there is a clear demand, okay, for, for the crypto space. So if Tether goes down, 
the exchanges are going to quickly, you know, uh, put USDC as the main focus, other stable coins. Yes, we're going to see a dump, but overall the crypto market, the Bitcoin, the fundamentals is there. Like it's not, it's not really um, changing that much if Tether goes away. So something to be careful for um, holding Tether. If there's, if there's be, a, you know, something happened to Tether, Tether is very, very widely used <coughs> on all of the exchanges and you can see on all the markets uh, essentially how much volume it is in, in, in using using the, the tether using the tether is into billions BTC USDT pair is 2.8 billion dollar volume traded a day so of course it's going to take a hit um, if something happens to tether um, but right now it's it's only the investigation going and it's not complete so uh, we'll see how how that uh, how that will go so guys with that being said I hope that you take the most important part of today's video is that we are um, we are breaking out we are finally breaking out for ethereum and we are so close to reaching the all-time high we are literally like inches away and uh, this is going to propel us to much much higher level on ethereum uh, this year much much higher level so uh, very exciting times for ethereum and uh, if you're watching this on youtube make sure to subscribe to the channel of bitcoin wealth club leave a comment like subscribe put a bell button to stay uh, up updated about all of the uh, next uh, uh, next episode and if you're watching it over facebook then awesome guys you're you're part of my family keep watching keep learning about crypto educate more people about crypto because uh this is life changing for for our world how we operate as a as a society as a community as the world and more people need to learn how to use these tools uh with crypto and uh, and take advantage and leverage of this crazy crazy market uh, and the biggest transference of wealth the world has ever seen all right guys i'll see you guys tomorrow